Hey Gypsies, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday, um, happy Dollar Tree Haul Day. I know, I know, I, I, I skipped a couple days. I'm so sorry. Sometimes things just get to be too much. So anyway, I've got a Dollar Tree Haul here and we're gonna do it. But first of all, I just wanted to show you guys something. I went in a store just because I, I wasn't gonna go in, but then I looked and it said, um, what did it say? something about metallic eyeshadows and like there was a picture of like some eyes and like gorgeous eyeshadow i'm like let me go in here the store was called notoriously morbid Whew, let me just say it's morbid in there all right but the eyeshadows number one this is their get their bags when you buy something how cute are these totally um and then i i ended up getting two eyeshadows hold on let's see here Wait. Oh, here it is. I was like, what? Where's, where, where's my other one? Okay. So I ended up getting two eyeshadows. First off, this right here, this is how this one comes. And um, yeah, it just says notoriously morbid. On the back, it's called Glorious Purpose is the name of this eyeshadow. Um, so there's what it looks like. Can you see like, ah, it's really cool. So let me swatch it for you guys. Just for the heck of it like can you see that oh my gosh that's gonna be the best inner corner that i've ever had but i love that little case there um and then this other one i've got is called it's gorgeous to despair so there's that color and i can't wait to give these a whirl like tomorrow when i put my makeup on hold on let me swatch this for you guys and we'll get onto the dollar tree haul if i can okay here we go okay so let me use this finger omg these two together are going to be amazing look at that it's like a sage green sort of but oh boy i can't wait to play with these okay so anyway i just wanted to show you guys those i got a little weak um but their price was pretty hefty so um yeah i'm I'm not even going to tell you how much because I'm ashamed. But anyway, let me put that back there. So, but they're going to look good, right? <laughs> I'm going to tell you what I need to do. I need to go to Ulta and get me some neck firming cream because this crap's got to go. Like, there's got to be some, like, I got some off of Amazon and I'm not seeing any difference. So, I just need a really, I'm going to go in Ulta and I'm going to be like, look at this. Help me. Help me and see what they say. Anyway, let's dive into this haul. Um, I found a few <clears throat> I found a few new items and I found I can't remember what all's in here honestly, so we're just gonna dive in. Number one, I got these for my hubs and his birthday, like I to have said, is January the 4th. So he is gonna be 54. Yes, I cannot believe it. I'll be 54 in May. That is unreal and I don't like to think about that. 54 sounds so much worse than 53 for some reason. I don't know. But anyway, you know, I want to have pictures of him with those balloons. So, and hopefully a funny top hat or something that I can find from the Dollar Tree. Um, I just got this just to keep over at the house for when baby Ricky comes over. That way, um, it's just a spill proof cup. Just a little, I like the color blue. So, I grabbed that as well. And then this puzzle just... I, I just, you know, like, I, I'm, I'm addicted to puzzles, but I never work them. Is anybody else like that? Like, I totally addicted. This is the cutest puzzle. Okay, a unicorn pig, a unicorn llama, a unicorn pony, fairy, I don't even know. Uh, there's, it's just, it's, uh, it's awesome. Oh my gosh. I just think it's awesome. It's 350 pieces. It's from Crazy Art. And I'll always tell myself, okay, girl, quit buying puzzles. But then, but then I go in there and I let myself actually glance over when I'm going by the puzzles. And then there's always one that's like, pick me, pick me, you know? And I'm like, get in the buggy. Just, just get in the buggy. Like, no matter what I said, just get in the buggy. Okay, and this is some pretty, like, artwork, just, like, to set in front of bookshelves or just on a table or on your kitchen counters. Um, this one, 
I don't know, not really my fave because you can't hardly see what it says. It says peace, but the background makes it just a little bit difficult to tell what it says, right? I mean, yeah. So, but I like this one the best compared to the other. They had several. And then they had this one here, which is probably my fave. I think I only got two, but it's probably my fave. This one is the Believe. I love the like flannel looking background. I just think this one is really cute. So I grabbed those two. And then I saw this little guy and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't resist. And I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do with it. This is going to be one of Jack's little um, mailbox goodies. So today she got a little, um, which let me just say, she wasn't asleep last night, like early, like enough for the elves. And so I told her, like when I was going to bed, I'm like, the elves probably done already came. So you're probably going to miss out. And so anyway, um, I went to bed and this morning before I woke her up, I'm like, oh, there's not that many days left. So I went and found something. I had like a little, it was a penguin with a Christmassy hat and all that stuff. But anyway, she loved it. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It has a certain name, like, yeah. I don't know, but this, I just could not resist. I love this moose. Come on. I don't even know. Like, I just feel like I should put this somewhere because it has the Buffalo check hat and the Buffalo check scarf. Like, is this the cutest flipping moose? This looks like something that would be in like Hallmark, the Hallmark store sitting on a shelf. Does it not? Totally. The Hallmark store. Like, it's so cute. I don't even know. I don't even know if I can get rid of it. I like it. I like it that much. We'll see. Okay, and then I found these two little things just to put in because I don't have a whole lot for um, baby Ricky stocking. So I thought I'd get this little Dumbo. I thought he was really cute. It's just the Disney. What are these things called? I know there's a name to these things too. Crap. I don't know. I know there's a name though. Wait a minute. Let me open it up. Maybe it says Disney... Mm, no, doesn't say. Anyway, I got this little Dumbo, and then I think this is the cat from the Aristocats. Would that be correct? I'm not 100% sure. They're just they're just little plushies, and I just think they're cute. Like, they had several different ones, but these were the two that caught my eye, and this one's not for baby Ricky because, like, he wouldn't want a little cat. He probably wouldn't care, but, like, it's a kind of girly, you know, so I'll give him Dumbo. Um, and then I ended up getting this right here and this is just, I had got these in the past and I gave one away and then we had a pink one and then Jack was like using it nonstop and I put it up somewhere and guess what? I can't find it anywhere. So I'm like, let me go ahead and pick another one up. These things work really well. You just have to hold them. Like if you try to just have them on the table and stick your pencil, the thing is going to spin. But if you hold it and sharpen your pencil, they work absolutely great. So I thought I'd better just grab another one. I think I actually donated the other one. And then last but not least, they have this right here. This is the room mist. And I'm going to put this in Fifi's stocking. So honestly, I really need to get around to um, filling up this or, or getting the stocking stuff together. And yeah, the, the Christmas bags, we'll say. And, you know, just getting it all together. There's putting it all in a trash bag, if nothing else, and just getting it together. And then that way I can dump it all on the bag, bed and then open the bags and then film and let you guys watch me fill up the Christmas bags. Because I did that last year and you guys seem to like that. So anyway, lavender, it's the Lavender Dreams room mist. So like the one I got that I didn't like, I, I can't remember what it was, but it wasn't this. Oh, this smells, oh, that smells good. Wow, if you like lavender, boom, baby, grab you some of that. Okay, there's that bag. And let's just dive in here. Not sure what all's in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this cute little mask. Now, these, these are eye masks, you know, to put over your eyes when you're sleeping. I feel like, and they had like several of these and my phone died. Like I was taking pictures that day and I was getting ready to take pictures of the other ones or just the display and my phone died. So I didn't get to, but they had a lot of other kinds of these, um, 
variety and they all seem to be geared toward men like but i don't i just don't recall ever seeing like a man sleep it with one of these i don't know am i crazy like i don't know but i grabbed one just because it's the buffalo check one i know how ridiculous but i grabbed that and then yeah so i've got another goodwill shirt on today and i think it's pretty cool um yeah i'm always wearing my goodwill shirts i can't wait to go back to goodwill after the holidays so Okay, and then, okay, here's something that, now, I usually save the best for last, but we're going to go ahead and go for it, just because I cannot stand the suspense any longer. Um, let me find, I know I got more, okay, I got four of these. Now, this is the um, hard candy, guys. So, can I just say, hard candy alert. And, like, I have, like, right now, I'm using a black felt tip eyeliner like for my wing and top lid so these are here though don't say black they say sparkling rose sparkling roses I'm like what color is that gonna be so I went ahead and got four because if because two of them are gonna go in the 15k giveaway which we're almost there and then the other two if I like it the other two is going to be going to me but let me let's let's just look at it let's just see what color sparkling roses is because i don't know like i just can't for the life of me you know and it doesn't like i don't know it could be purple it could be red like i don't know red i guess it is eyeliner hard candy new glitter liquid eyeliner glitter we're gonna see because glitter I mean like if unless you put it like over top of like a um I want that open like over top of an of a black like I like my my liner on top you know I just like it so we're gonna see about this and I, I saw them they still had some more today when I was in there this was the other day when I was there and so I'm like oh man I wish I would have checked this out hold on Let's figure this out. Wait, what? Hold on, this cannot be. Um, good gracious. I mean, does it unscrew? Is that? Oh, I hope not. Like, what is going on? <laughs> My other one's not like this. Um, I don't even know what's going on here. Well, oh, there it went. <laughs> okay didn't unscrew okay so let's do well I've done did some testing over here let's okay let's do here kind of disappointed like yes it's I mean it's like a really light rose gold and it does have some shimmer to it but there is no way I'd use this as an eyeliner because you wouldn't be able to see it, you know? That's what it's all about. But that is just, I mean, I just wouldn't, I don't know. Maybe I could find another use for it. Maybe lipstick, I don't know, but. <laughs> okay, and those lids stay on pretty good. Okay, so there's that. So I'm glad I didn't pick up any more because if these would have been black, let me just say, I probably would have got 10 because those are the bomb.com. Like that's my favorite. I use it all the time, like every single day, just like that. It has the roses on it. It's the, I guess the Marilyn Monroe collection. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, I've been collecting supplies for Jack's um, teacher, her classroom. So it, anytime I go, I try to pick up at least one thing to go in that bag. So I just picked up a two pack of scissors because she, um, she buys everything for the class herself. So I thought, well, what, 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 what a better opportunity here. Um, and then I feel like something's leaking in this bag and because it's been in the ice cold car, it probably is. So let me get my towel. Where's my towel? Here it is. I know it's leaking. Um, and I'll show you in a second. But these two right here are for the 15K giveaway. So this is hard candy, guys. Hard candy. Um, this is the Luminous Pearl Finish. 
Glow Setting Spray. So this is pretty awesome and what a great deal. So I went ahead and grabbed two of these for the 15K giveaway. So there's already two more items going in there, both hard candy, and it's gonna be pretty awesome. What can I just say? Um, I got these for me. These are the Snugadoos, which they're a little damp. Snugadoos in the Buffalo Check, and how could I pass them up? I also saw today, these, and these are the, um, what are they? So, I mean, they're like not socks, you know what I'm saying? They're footies, I guess. Remember footies? Remember the footies with the little balls on the back? OMG. I don't know if I ever would have thought of those again, because when I say the word footy, that's what I think of. <laughs> I'm crazy. Um, anyway, these are a buffalo check. And today I saw like they had a little leopard print one, which was really cute. But it was like a white or a really light gray. And the spots were pink. I started to grab it. But then I'm like, girl, you got to put a hold on yourself. Um, I got one of these stylus pens. And I, was, I couldn't tell in the store, like, what is the deal with this stylus pen? Because of the curve. Like, the stylus is up here. And then you got that curve. And I'm like, what is this? So, I got it. So, I'm like, I'm going to read it in the car. So, it says it's a ballpoint pen. It's a stylus. It's a phone stand. That's what that curve is all about. A phone stand. And it's a MF screen, cl screen cleaner. MF. I mean, okay. All right. MF screen, cl screen cleaner works with most touch screen devices. I kind of like that. The screen cleaner is this right here. So you just kind of take that and rub it over your screen. And then the phone stand is this right here, which I don't really understand how that works, but there's a picture of it. But there's the MF screen, <laughs> screen cleaner. Okay. And then I grabbed one of these. Oh, I hate when things leak. Um, yes, so this is a infused lip oil, and I'm going to check this out right now, but it's infused with, what's it infused with? Hold on. What's it infused with? Lip, infused lip oil. It doesn't say. How weird. All right, well, let, let's check it out. Let's just check it out because, like, I want to know what it's infused with, number one. So, there's what it looks like. I need my, I should have got my glasses before I started this journey. Oh, uh, hold on. Let's get these bad boys out. Okay. Let's check this out. So, this says, it doesn't, infused is from Be Pure lip oil with green tea okay there we go <laughs> with green tea so let's just see i don't even know about like green tea and a lip oil together Whoop. it's not bad i was expecting something not great i mean it's not great but let me just say it's not bad either the lip oil feels smooth it's not a bad taste like I was thinking green tea. Green tea. Hold on. I'm thinking tea tree. Okay, never mind. Never mind all that. Okay, and this is a wish list item, and this is what's been leaking. Okay, I don't know if it's this one. I did get two of them, so it's either this one or the other one. But I have been looking for this forever. This is the 24-hour fragrance. Suave Essentials Vanilla Blossom and Almond. And this is a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. This is the stuff that I like to have for Jack. Because, like, when she takes her shower or whatever, it's just so much for her to actually rinse her hair out really good twice. So, I'm like, if I could just get a shampoo and conditioner. And I would not let myself buy some at, like, Walmart. Because I'm, I knew Dollar Tree was going to get it eventually. So, Vanilla Blossom and Almond. Let's smell this. And 24-hour fragrance. I might use this, too. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Yes. What a, oh yes, it smells so good. So what a great deal. I do have another one down in here. Let me see if this is the one. Like I said, one of them's leaking. So anything liquid, 
I don't know what makes it do it. Like, I don't know if it's just like, you know, when things get cold, like liquidy things, when they get cold, they um, sweat. Yeah, I don't know if it's that or what. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into another bag really quick. This one has some glass stuff. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, number one, this is a wish list item and I got four of these and I'm actually wanting to try one, but I'm definitely not going to try one right now because I am doing the one meal a day. So I don't eat till about eight o'clock at night. So whenever I do though, I might give one of these a whirl. It's the Hormel pepperoni sticks. And these are good size, can I say? They are very good size. Um, what does it say? Pepperoni sticks, pepperoni snack sticks. Hormel is a really good deal, right? It's a really good name brand. And it's a one ounce. So it's a one ounce snack stick. You see it? Yes. So I went ahead and got four. Um, yeah, my son and Jack will probably be eating these, I'd say. My husband may but like they are going to love these but i'm definitely having one so i may have it with my dinner tonight which i'm not sure what that's gonna be yet but anyway that's a good deal so let me stick these bad boys up in here and then now these are not a good deal whatsoever but i went ahead and grabbed two of them just because i have never seen these at the dollar tree before and it's the little jellies and this is the kind that I like to get to pour over a block of cream cheese and put on the table and surround it with like Ritz crackers and just let everybody, you know, fix them, fix them some hors d'oeuvres, you know, or um, appetizers or whatevs, like, like whenever all the other, the rest of the food is getting fixed for Christmas or the holidays, basically, this is just not an everyday thing. Like you could just make these little cute little things and one of these over a block I don't know if it would be enough honestly but it, it might it might but this one is just strawberry jam which I probably wouldn't put that over cream cheese I mean I would on a bagel right like strawberry jam and cream cheese on a bagel yes but this one is the hot pepper jelly which I absolutely love hot pepper jelly I love it on cream cheese and a Ritz um, and can you see like the peppers in there? It looks like really good jelly. And I don't know, probably not the best deal in the world, but I may use them for Christmas or I may stick them in my son Jeremy's gift bag, his Christmas gift bag. So there are those. Oh, see Daisy. As long as my signal don't come on, right? Okay. And then here's something else that was in that same section. So I'm like, oh, let me give these a whirl. This is hot sauce, so different hot sauces. So how cool are these different hot sauces? So this one here is called Aztec's Revenge. Oh, Aztec's Revenge is the brand name. Okay. So this one is called Cayenne. Mm this one's called Montezuma's Vengeance. OMG, Cayenne. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know. Might set your booty on fire. <laughs> and then this one is called Garlic Ancient Flame. Wow. Ooh, I don't know. And then this, where did I go? Oh, this one is called Jalapeno. Fl flaming rage oh that sounds scary right i don't know guys i don't know these are cool i just feel like these was a really good deal like if you like hot stuff guys these are going to be right up your alley i definitely want to try this cayenne i'm actually getting ready to make some nashville hot chicken probably not today but i'm going to be making nashville hot chicken i might put a little bit of this up in there let's saute that up I think that sounds really good. Okay, let's get off of that and get onto another bag. Um, this is something that I had seen other people haul and I thought it was really cute. So it's just a wall shelf, but it's basically a hanging wall shelf. So I think this would be really cute to, to put like a little succulent or something. I know Josh is always saying that they don't have like a lot of room for all his plants. And this is a little wall shelf and they actually do show a plant. Is it a plant or a candle? Uh, that's a candle, but I think it'd be cute with a plant. So I think I'll just put this in his um, Christmas bag. And then that way, you know, he could put two or three little succulents up on there and just hang it on the wall and have more room for his plants, right? 
So that's really cute. Oops, let me let me try to make me a new shelf to put stuff on. That's not gonna work. Okay, if I put it that way, y'all can see. Hold on, let me. Okay, we're good. <laughs> okay, next, um, I just grabbed a, one of these. I like to make like a big salad, and then instead of letting everybody put their own salad dressing. Every now and then, I like to just add a couple of these. It's the Olive Garden Signature Italian Salad Dressing. I just add a couple and just toss the whole salad, and then the salad is ready. So, um, yeah, I, I think I, I have actually one more, and you get three in here. So, I have one more, and then plus these three. So, that'll be two more salads that I can do. So, I always like to see that. And then I got these. I got one of these for Kendall. For her Christmas bag because she's kind of harder to shop for than the little girls so I thought this would be a really cute thing for a um, 10 year old's room and it's basically just the string lights and they are pink and sparkly and I like them so I have to remember to put batteries in there I think it takes two double a and then I got me one as well because look at them they're pretty darn awesome I need to figure out a way to put these in my background somewhere my filming background. And then I got Kindle one of these and me one of these as well. Um, these are phone stands and they're just super cute. So I don't know, I should have got Kindle blue probably. I got me purple um, and then I got her pink. And I think she does have a phone um, mainly to play games on and stuff like that. But I just thought that was cute. Look at it, see right here. How cute are those? And just super cute. I don't know. I just think they're super cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, next. Some gum for my son. I'm trying to keep that together. I'm dropping things left and right. Um, let me save that for the rest of that if I have it. Um, check this out. <laughs> I cannot resist. Number one, this is gorgeous. Can you see this? These little trays like this that they come out with always just like astound me. They are absolutely awesome. This is no different, honey. This is so gorgeous. I was like, when I looked down and saw this, I'm like, what? Get in my buggy right now. You're pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> And then here's something I got from the Dollar Tree Plus section, which I might have screwed up a little bit, and I'll tell you how. How? Okay. So these are size medium, okay? I tried to find me a size. They didn't have my size. All they had was medium and small because these have been picked over a lot. Um, these were the $5 shirts from the Dollar Tree Plus section. Well, look at these. How awesome are these? Oh my gosh, those colors. How awesome are these? I think, honestly, I think I could have fit into a, a large. This medium seems like good size. I'm serious. So anyway, I'm thinking my sons. So I got two. I got one for each of my sons. And then after that, I was thinking both of my sons were like extra large. You know, I mean, they might could have fit in a large but how awesome are these I, I, I just can't even i can't even look at them so cute right so i'm not sure what i'm gonna do yet i'm gonna see if maybe my hubby might want one he, i don't think he really likes black shirts though so i don't know i just don't know but i couldn't pass them up no okay next I got these Dunkaroos just for Jack, just to put in her pop-all bag. It's just the um, vanilla cookies and chocolate frosting. Yummo. Okay. And then I got this because the sheer cuteness factor. It's like purple leopard with a little pink. Look, I mean, look at it. <clears throat> All it is is just a little notebook. Um, I don't know. I may put this in Kindle's little uh, gift bag just because it's freaking cute. And she likes to draw and stuff, and she could draw, take it to school or whatever, but I couldn't, I couldn't pass it up, right? It's just too cute. I found some things today that were weird. I don't know if I'll be hauling them today, but like, I, I got them, but like, I'm like, what, what, what? Anyway, <laughs> and then I got these. I thought they were cute. I thought maybe baby Ricky, although probably not yet. So these, 
are creative. These are from Greenbrier. Are they Greenbrier? <clears throat> yeah, these are Greenbrier, but I really like these. These are ages three and up, so I may save these till next year, honestly, or I could put them in Ray's stocking. I think that would be cute. So this is age three and up, both of these. So these are alphabet matching puzzles. So you look through and you find, you know, all the a, you put all the a, a the letters to one side and all the pictures to the other side and then you know you let the kids match up yeah so that is cute right and then this one here is animal babies so you put the babies with their moms or dads how cute are those i just never saw those and they're in like a little ziploc bag so like i loved them absolutely loved them <clears throat> <clears throat> always clear my throat always I don't know um, and then I got four packs hold on loud car loud car so loud but so pretty it's like a muscle car um, anyway four packs of the pistachios that my hubs loves so stick those in there okay let me show you guys the boro you know there's got to be boro Guess what it is? It's the strong and soft. No, they didn't have lavender. Dang it, but that's okay. Strong and soft, I'll take it because I was running low. I don't like to run low. Like, I haven't been doing Dollar, I haven't been going to the Dollar Tree like I need to. Like, I need to, I don't know. I think because the holidays has got me like more busier and I've got something else going on right now, which I'll be letting you guys know after the holidays that I'm really excited about. And so anyway. <laughs> <clears throat> so after Thanksgiving, like when I did, I, th I think I told you guys, so Thanksgiving, I let myself go and then I'm like, oh, I'm going to get right back on track. I didn't get right back on track. I gained 10 pounds. So anyway, for the last five days, I've been back on track and I've actually lost 12. So I lost all of my weight that I gained for the Thanksgiving break and two pounds extra so I'm glad about that so yeah I, I feel much better um, but anyway I saw these and I thought I'd just grab one of each because they look pretty interesting and I think these are all meal worthy number one we have um, tortilla I know I know tortilla tortilla I'm gonna say it like Napoleon Dynamite tortilla um, Tortilla, right? Okay. Tortilla. I'm still saying, I'm still saying tortilla, tortilla. Because that's how I, I don't, why do, every time I have to say the word tortilla, I get so stressed out. Like, I'm like, OMG, kill me now. I've got to say the word tortilla. And I know a lot of you out there is going, ha, ah, you can't say it. Okay. I can't say it. Okay. I'm not. I don't want to. Um, tortilla soup mix. Does that look like a good dinner? Yes, it does. And cold weather is here. So anytime you can make a really good soup, yes. And then right here we have chicken enchilada soup mix. That looks amazing. Look at that avocado on top and that cheese. OMG, yes. And then this is taco dip mix, which would just be good just to make a taco taco dip and this is the one I'm most excited about this is delish dill dip mix now dill dip is awesome absolutely awesome I love dill dip and usually I can make that a low carb you know dill dip is a low carb anyway so that I'm super excited I'm not sure what I'll eat it with yet maybe just flipping peppers veggies you know cauliflower yes sounds so good anyway yes I'm excited about those and it's from the company enticingly easy what a great name is that yeah so you get it says it serves 16 there's only one pack in here so yes in case you were wondering there's that and then we got one more bag guys <clears throat> and let's get to it um, number one, like whenever me and Josh and Hallie did the um, Dollar Tree haul, which I need to get them back on to do another one with me, um, I hauled these right here, and these are the satin pillowcases, 
and it is like a silvery color and it has like the leopard print which is absolutely awesome and during that haul Hallie's like oh I love those I didn't see them grab us some next time you see them and every single time I go to the Dollar Tree I look for those pillowcases and today I found they had two left I'm like get in my buggy right now I've been looking for you my whole life but actually not my whole life but a long time but aren't those great how great are they so those are gonna go in their stocking stockings and then I got these because <laughs> they remind me of spider-man honestly spider-man pillowcases uh, they're not they're, they are the satin pillowcases but just I mean it's like a beehive or a hive I don't know it reminds me of spider-man so I'm like you're coming with me I'm getting ready to put some new sheets on my bed um, I need to show you guys some of the stuff I have a lot of stuff I've need to been showing you guys and I haven't been doing good with that like anyway um, I grabbed this because I thought it was cool looking. It is a bike phone holder. And let me just say, I have an, and when I probably have already told you guys, I do have an exercise bike that's supposed to be delivered maybe today. I'm not sure, but I thought, how cool. This is a bike phone holder. So I could like watch YouTube or whatevs while I'm doing my exercise bike. So yeah, I'm trying to get like 30 minutes exercise a day. And yeah, I thought on days when it's cold or rainy and yucky, I can just hop on the bike, you know, but I would rather walk out um, outdoors. These are cool. This is something new I had not seen. Um, these are from, where are they? Gosh, they smell good. Um, distributed by Body and Bath no body and earth ink so how cool is that oh there it is body and earth i've never heard of it it's a bubble cake crumble under running water for a frothy bubble bath so i've got this one here in ocean waves and these are going to be for jack just to take that ba bubble baths so ocean wave and this one is a fresh mango oops and these are the only two that i saw so if you guys have saw these let me know if they come in any other uh fragrances because these sound amazing and they actually, I can't, oh yeah, oh that smells good. Ocean Waves, I think it's my fave. Oh yeah, that smells really good. I can't get a big whiff of this one, but this one smells really good. But anyway, I thought that was cool and something I hadn't seen before. And then I know I got my hubby a pack of the blue as well. No clue where it went, so I don't know. And then, oh here it is, here it is, boom. Um, and then I got these, and they also had a dark blue, but I thought these were kind of cool um, because they're stackable. They're like little bins, and they're not huge. They're just little, and to stack them, what you do is you open, well, is this the ones? Well, I opened one in the store. It must have been this one. Okay, so you open that up, and then you just place this. Is this it? Is this the way? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Are they stackable? They are, I know they are. Yes, okay, like that. So, like, you could, you know, it'd be cute to do orange, green, orange, green or something and just make like a tower of them just to keep like in the corner of your kid's bedroom just to keep like different little items in, you know? Kids, if they're like Jack, they have a lot of little tiny items, especially with a Nana who lives at the Dollar Tree, okay? There's a lot of little tiny items in that room, and these, like a tower of these, I just gave myself another idea. Like, I need to get more of these, and I just want to make a tower of her just to keep her little items in. So, yes, I'm definitely going to be getting more, at least four more, and that should make a decent-sized little tower for the corner of her room right beside her TV stand, and that's going to be really, really cute. They can keep, like, little stuffed animals or just anything. I love these. Oh, my gosh. I hope they still have some more when I go back. But anyway, you do, all you got to do is, you know, just open them to stack them and then or if you don't want to you can just snap them closed you know and then they look all cute and regular or you can you know if you want to store them just like that of course you can only store you know i mean if you're just like putting them in your basement for another time or something you can stack them um anyway guys that is all that's my dollar tree haul so thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for not giving up on me because like two days <clears throat> was it two days in a row 
three days in a row without a Dollar Tree haul, I'm so sorry. I'm going to do better, I promise. And don't forget, the 15K giveaway is coming up. I get new stuff all the time. I've got a frog in my throat. Sorry about that. Um, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, especially if you want to enter for any of my giveaways. You have to be my subscriber. Leave me a comment down below, guys. Let me know what your favorite item from today was. I thought I had a few cute th things up in here. And um, yeah, give me, hit that thumbs up down there. Hit that bad boy. Um, also, I feel like I was going to tell you guys something else, but now I can't remember it. I don't know. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and until next time, bye!